guys welcome back to our channel this is Timmy TV it's good to have you again if you're stopping by our channel for the very first time you are welcome to our skincare family Timmy TV is all about skincare formulation product review hair care kaya mata please subscribe to this channel to be part of our skincare family today I'll be doing something very something different and that is talking about percentage conversion Percentage conversion is very important in skin care, especially when you're formulating your product from scratch and when you're creating a large quantity. Trust me, you want to know how to calculate in percentage. This is not technical at all, so don't be scared. In fact, creating your recipe using percentage makes it easy for you. All right, when we talk about percentage conversion, it's just the same way you calculate your monthly income in 10% to pay your tithe in church. So how do you calculate your monthly income to pay your tithe in 10%? How do you, when you tell your customers you're doing promo or you're doing 10% discount, 20% discount, 50% discount, how do you calculate that? That is percentage and that's exactly what we're talking about in percentage conversion, percentage measurement. If you must go into skincare and you want to create in bulk, you want to create a large quantity, not simple DIY you do at home for yourself, then you must familiarize yourself with percentage measurement. And that's what this video is all about. So if you want to know how to calculate in percentage or when you see a recipe in percentage, how to convert it to gram or ml, then this video is for you. Please watch till the end. I'm going to do live practical for you. And then... Now, when we talk about creating a bulk, that's why in our skincare class, we teach you how to calculate in percentage. When you train with us, we teach you how to calculate in percentage, how to create your formulation table. Formulation table will be for another day. Today, it's just percentage measurement and conversion. We don't do two tablespoons, two teaspoons, one cup of this, one cup of that. We don't do that in our class. We teach you in percentage and it's very good so you can sit at the comfort of your office and know exactly what quantity of what ingredients will go into whatever product you are making if you are creating 10,000 liters 1 million liters whatever 500,000 liters 1,000 ml you know exactly what quantity of the ingredients you are going to work with it's very easy but now if you are producing 10,000 liters of whitening lotion are you going to start calculating two teaspoons two tablespoons how many tablespoons will you start using you know but when you work with percentage it makes it easier if you want to know how this is done you want to learn how to calculate in percentage you want to be able to convert your percentage to gram and ml to know how to do that you know to familiarize yourself with percentage measurement then please watch this video to the end if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button to be part of our skincare family. Okay, don't forget to share this video with a friend. Happy hair. Like I said, percentage measurement is not difficult. It's not technical at all. It's very simple. Now, before you decide to convert your percentage measurement, the first thing you are supposed to do is figure out the quantity of what you want to produce. Now, for example, we want to make our peeling cream. Okay, I'll use peeling cream for this example, this recipe. Now, I want to make my peeling cream. The first thing I need to know is what quantity do I want to make? Is it 50 gram, 100 gram, 150, 200, or 500? But for our example here, I'll be making use of 150 gram. So you can just jot this down if you have your pen and paper there. Now, in percentage conversion, it's simple. You have to multiply the percentage by the measurement. I know anything that has to do with percentage has to do with you dividing it by 100. Anything percentage, that thing is divided by 100. So get this recipe done if you are with your pen. For a peeling cream, 150 gram is what I want to make. Remember I said you must know the quantity you want to make first. It is very important. If you don't know the quantity in your head, you don't know what quantity you want to make, you will not be able to do the percentage conversion. Now for our base cream, I want you to write down 54.5%. 54.5% for base cream. Now 
Number two, AHA foot acid, 5%. Number three, lactic acid, 10%. Number four, gluconolactone, 5%. Number five, papine enzyme, 10%. Vitamin E, 3%. Vitamin B5, 2%. Liquid JAMA Plus, which is our preservative, 0.5%. And this still water 10%. Now there's one secret. I want you to calculate now this percentage we've written down. Calculate all of them. It will sum up to 100. Your percentage must sum up to 100. Your ingredient percentage, whatever percentage it is you are working with, it must sum up to 100. And since we are doing 150 gram peeling cream, by the time we convert this percentage, to gram or ml that gram must sum up to 150 so if your calculation already is wrong it means your recipe whatever you're making is going to be wrong you must get your percentage right first as you get it first then that is a good stage it shows that you're on the right track okay now calculate this remember i said our base is 54.5 percent now what i want you to do is this 54.5% I said anything that has to do with percentage is divided by 100 so we're going to say 54.5% divided by 100 okay and I said you must know the quantity you are making I am making 150 grams so I'll say times 150 grams what do we have we have 81.75 gram so where you see 54.5 percent for base cream it means your base cream should be 81.75 gram okay now write that and keep it aside i said our aha fruit acid is five percent anything that has to do with percentage is divided by 100 so we're going to say five divided by 100 times what quantity are you making we are making 150 grams so you now say times 150 what we have is 7.5 okay so you're going to write this 7.5 gram what's next we have lactic acid we wrote down 10 percent so you're going to say 10 percent divided by 100 anything that has to do with percentage is divided by 100 now say times what multiply by our quantity 150 so our lactic acid is is what 15 ml this is the quantity we're using for the production of our peeling cream the next thing you want to do is our gluconolactone it said five percent so you're going to say five percent divide by 100 times 150 which is what 7.5 so we're using the quantity of 7.5 Five. You see, it is easy. Just keep the formula in your head. Percentage divided by hundred times quantity equals to your answer. It equals to your gram or your ml. Okay. Now, our papine enzyme is ten percent. So you're going to say ten divided by one hundred times one hundred and fifty. Remember, ten is the percentage. Hundred is what you must divide by. Because you are working with percentage and 150 is the quantity. So if you are using 200 gram, you put your 200 in place of 150. If it is 500 ml, you put 500 in the place of 150. So now our uh, papine enzyme is what? 15. You write it down. The next thing is our vitamin E is 3%, right? So you say 3% divided by 100 times 150. So we're going to use 4.5 ml of vitamin E in this formulation, this production. The next thing is vitamin B5. What do we have there? 2%. So you're going to say 2 divided by 100 times 150. So we're going to use 3 ml of vitamin B. It's easy, right? 
The next thing we have is liquid jammer plus our preservative. So you say 0 0.5 divided by 100 times 150. Our percentage, what we have now is 0 0.75 ml. Remember, your preservative must not be too much, otherwise it will irritate the skin. So we need 0 0.75 ml of liquid jammer plus. The next thing we have is distilled water. 10% is what we have there. So you say 10 divided by 100 times 150, which is 15 ml. So you need 15 ml of water to produce your peeling cream. And that's it. It's simple. So whatever thing you're producing, remember you need to get your quantity in your head first. That is the beginning. Okay? So, I hope you've learned something today. It is that simple. Remember, anything percentage is divided by 100. So, it is simple. You say the percentage, that's the percentage of the ingredient there, divided by 100 times the quantity. Is it, is it 50 ml? Is it 100? Is it 150? Is it 500? And that is it. Guys, I believe you've learned something new today. You can now convert your percentage to gram and ml, right? If you find this video interesting, please give it a huge thumb up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And if you have subscribed, please click on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, share this video with your friends, share it somewhere, save the link so every time you have a challenge converting your percentage, you can always fall back to this as a guidance. You know. And if you want to be part of our training, good. Send us a message on Instagram or send us a message on Facebook. And let's talk about it. We'll teach you how to master the act of creating your formula. You become flexible with your ingredients. You know how to work with it. We don't just use two tablespoons, two teaspoons, or stick to one recipe. No, we teach you how to master the, your ingredients, how to use them very well. And you become a pro, okay? Thanks for watching. See you in our next